before we get that fly. Okay. So I'm going to make it with oats. I still have so many oats to go through. And, sorry about the boob shot. No. So, I take the, on the oats, and take off the tops. jar and stuff them pretty good. I actually have so much oat tincture. I was going to just use these for tea, but um, if anybody wants this, let me know and I'll send it to you. Oats is like, um, with, with a lot of the leafy herbs, you don't have to mash them up or anything, but the just the nature of the oats, the husks are really strong and they don't break down very easily, so if you don't give them a little bit of um, maceration or chopped or whatever, they don't make as good of a medicine. And these are fresh. But you could also do it with pride. I should have done this part before I get this pretty boring, huh? Just chop and chop. Chop. Sadia, do you know where your love and light is? non-scientific method that always makes me nervous that I'm trying to go that way. I made all my tinctures this way in the beginning and then I learned about the science stuff and kind of got caught up in it. But <laughs> Then you take your alcohol. For fresh plant tinctures you want to have a hundred or more just to help the creature crawlies. Organic matter stuff. It's not totally necessary. I make it with brandy all the time. They just don't last quite as long. And you want them to last a long time, right? <clears throat> and then, I usually like to put um, a couple of drops of flower essence in there. Hi. Shoot, let's just go together again. Let's take you guys on a tour of the house. Hi. Sorry. We're gonna go back inside. This is gonna be a really long video. Sorry about that. Let's see. I think let's do fennel. Because fennel clears negative chi. And oat straw is really good. Oat tops are really good for calming jangled nerves. I just put a couple of drops of fennel in the pitcher. Two moon cycles, whenever you remember. Fast forward to six weeks later or whenever. At least two weeks, but um, you can go as long as you want. This is a passion flower tincture that I actually made. Give it back to her. Yeah. I want some oats. You want some oats? Okay. I want some oats. Here you go. 
Okay. I want to just help me. Okay. You can come over here and help me. Oh, okay. Anyways, take the cheesecloth, a couple of layers, and put in a big bowl. Gosh, I hope you can see this. Pour in all the sludge. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I made with brandy. You can smell it. Huh? Brandy. And the inside, um, the rest of the spent plant material, you can compost. And the trick is, the less organic matter you have, the longer it'll last. So you could strain this again through like a coffee filter if you wanted to. I have done it. Um, to make it really, really clean. If you're just using it for your family, it's probably not a big deal. And then this will go into a jar, and I don't use a lot of the brown bottle jars because they're expensive. I use like old olive jars and um, sauerkraut jars. Oh, careful. Things like that. Um, and then when I get ready to use it, I will put it in a small like, two or four ounce amber jar with a dropper and just keep filling that up. That way I don't have to buy a bunch of them. So that's it, gals. Tincture. The end. It's fun.